first YouTube comment by somebody I don't know. Hello there and welcome back to Excusez-moi, Excusez-moi with me, Emerald Hill. Yes, that's right. Today, or well, a couple of days ago, I received my first YouTube comment. My last YouTube video I did was a review on the Keto Pizza provided by Pizza Pizza and how my recipe is better. Whew. As you might have known, or I think I mentioned it before, I am a keto lover. I've been doing keto for on and off for about six years now, and I have perfected, I believe, my recipe of the cauliflower crust pizza. If you have tried keto yourself, you will have known that the moment you start the diet, you're like, I want pizza. And you can't have it. And you've tried the coconut flour and it's disgusting. And you've tried the almond flour and it's disgusting. And you tried a mixture of both and it's disgusting. And flaxseed is provided by Satan, I swear to you. Most disgusting thing ever. It was, it was interesting because a couple of years ago, I think like three years ago, is when cauliflower crust pizza really blew up. But the thing about cauliflower crust pizza is that cauliflower actually has quite a bit of water in it. So there are a couple of techniques that I tried throughout the years. I tried squeezing it with cheesecloth. I tried um, making kind of cauliflower rice and then putting it in the oven at low temperature for like three hours to try to dry it out. I eventually just started to put it in a strainer and then mash it in a strainer to get all of the water out of it, but all of those things either take an immense amount of time and preparation and dishes and is such a huge mess. It's such a cleanup job afterwards just for, I mean, the pizza itself tastes amazing, but seriously, it's so much work. I, I was really starting to consider, is it really worth it? And I think a lot of people, when they can't have a variation on their favorite food, finally just say to themselves, well, what's the point? So, without, blah, 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 without further ado, my keto cauliflower easy, sort of no mess recipe. So this is the size of my cauliflower. It's actually a pretty big head of cauliflower. This is my knife and my water bottle to compare just so you can see how big it is. I like to cut it up in pretty big chunks and put it in a tall pot and then fill the pot with water so it's covering and then I want to turn it on high and cover with a lid to help it boil. Once it gets to a rolling boil, that's when I cook it for 10 minutes until I can stick a knife in it and it comes off pretty easily. What I want to do now is I want to strain my pot of cauliflower and then put the cauliflower back in the same pot. I'm going to take a potato masher and mash it all up just like normal and this is where I'm going to save you all that mess and hassle. Take your spoon and shove the cauliflower up against the sides of the pot to make a little circle at the bottom. This will be way easier with two hands. What will happen is all the water will seep to the bottom of the pot and when you turn it to medium high the water will boil off and evaporate into the air. You'll want to do this, you want to uh, stir the cauliflower every five minutes uh, and do this for like five to six times to really get all of the water out of the cauliflower. It'll be pretty dry to the touch, um, kind of a little bit, just a little bit still wet, but it should be pretty dry. I like to add a cup of Parmesan to one cauliflower and then half a cup of this Italiano seasoning to help dry it up even more. Stir it in real good. This is where you want to add your eggs. I don't know where my eggs video went, but that's where you want to add the eggs, like six eggs. I'll include the recipe below. Take some parchment paper, cover it in oil, and then squish down your uh, pizza to make the crust. Uh, I like to make it a pretty thin crust, so that's what you should do. Stick it in the oven on broil uh, until it looks like this. I just need you to get me flipping the pizza off. Okay, what am I pressing? Nothing, I turned it on for you already. Oh, okay, wonderful. And so it's already happening? Achieved! <laughs> and there you go. 
bake it in the oven on broil again and then add your toppings and then bake it, sorry. Cut it up into nice pieces and as you can see, if you leave it for a couple of minutes to let it cool and solidify, I know it's more like you New York pizza, but come on, look at this. I can pick it up, huh? Huh? Look at that. And basically no mess. Yeah, just a couple of pots. Whatever, you know? Like, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. And I could pick it up. That's pretty good. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for commenting on my video. I basically dressed up for you if you're watching this video. Uh, yeah, thank you again. Um, if you're interested in more recipes to do with keto, I have included a link down below of my blog, who I partnered with, The Counseling House, the, uh, the clinical director of The Counseling House, Dr. Lori Ponsford Hill, who is a registered psychotherapist. It dives into the world of keto, it also dives into the world of weight loss and emotional dependencies on food and things like that. If that's something that you might be interested in, check it out. There's also a ton of recipes on there that I myself have devised personally, like really, really delicious mozzarella sticks. If you are a fan of mozzarella sticks, I have a recipe for you. I actually think I already filmed that video. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, just go check out that video then. Honestly, that's all I have to say. Thanks for participating, and I hope I get some more YouTube comments. Alright, see you later. Bye!